I understand you're, you're going to be recognized on the floor in just we a few are. minutes. We are. We are. That's good. Well, let me go quick and, and say just how meaningful the day is, meaningful the effort is. I mean, when you, when you just think about it, and I, I've got notes here on everything in the world, but I've got DNR notes, I've got, you know, hunger-free West Virginia Day. Now just think about this, and, I, and, and I'm really proud, really proud because I didn't know that you were doing this when I was doing our state of the state. And, and you know, it just, it just makes such common sense when you really just think about it, you know, that we've got so many West Virginians, especially kids, that really and truly are going hungry. Now, it's hard probably for us to believe that what hunger is really all about. You know, because maybe we can go to Wendy's or wherever it may be, when at the end of the day, a lot of these kids are leaving our schools on Friday and wonder how in the world they're going to be able to eat between then and when they come back to school. And, you know, and a lot of our seniors... At the same time, too, you know, our services are so restricted that a lot of our seniors are left kind of out in no man's land, and those people we owe so much to, it's unbelievable. And so at the end of the day, we made a real life commitment in the state of the state, and I think we saw a real bipartisan support, and as far as you know, we made a million dollars of commitment to the food pantries that are out there right now, an additional million. We made a $2 million additional commitment to the backpack, you know, deal at the schools. And we made a $3 million commitment to additional, to try to help our seniors. And so, so I, I commend you on all you're doing beyond belief. I know you got to go. I am so proud of you because you are doing something that uh, you're touching a life, you know, and, and it is so, so pitiful sad. I mean, that really and truly we have this, but your effort brings joy beyond belief and so I love you, and I thank you in every way, and I mean that from the very bottom of my heart. You know, I, I've always been in love with West Virginia, but we have our issues and we've got our struggles, and, and because of people like you, today is a great, great day. So God bless you in every way. I could never in the world say any more than how proud I am of you. So thank you for all you're doing, and let's do it together. And let's do it in a bar bipartisan way and really make it happen. And Ann's going to read this because I can't see it. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I have a proclamation from our Governor, Jim Justice. Whereas we recognize that hunger is a persistent problem in West Virginia, with one in five adults struggling daily, with knowing where their next meal will come from. And whereas hunger impacts everyone in all walks of life, many working families struggle with hunger. And whereas children are at a higher risk of hunger, with one in four children not having enough food to get them through the day, a hungry child cannot learn. A hungry child cannot grow. And whereas our population of seniors are particularly at risk, as they make choices daily on whether they eat nutritional food or pay other bills, including medical bills and utilities. And whereas West Virginia has a strong network of nonprofits, including two food banks and over 600 community feeding programs, whose focus is on strengthening communities, together with 31 million pounds of food are distributed to those in need each year. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Jim Justice, Governor of the great state of West Virginia, 
do hereby proclaim January 14, 2020 as Hunger-Free West Virginia Day in the Mountain State and encourage all <coughs> citizens to join me in this observance. In witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand and caused the great seal of the state of West Virginia to be affixed, done at the capital, city of Charleston, state of West Virginia, the second day of January in the year of our Lord, 2020, and in the 157th year of the state. We've got to have somebody come up here where we can give them to Please. All right, we're going to let y'all hold. I'll stand behind you. Everything. Okay. Now, y'all give them a big round of applause now. Great work. Great, great job. All right, y'all go upstairs and, and get recognized in every way. And, and rightfully it. so. We'd love to get you up a gas way. <laughs>